Hi, I'm Thibaut from MongoDB. Today, I'm excited to introduce one of our most requested features in our Langchain integration, GraphRack. GraphRack is now super easy to implement with the new MongoDB Atlas and Langchain integration. Our implementation consists of two steps. The first step, we need to create the knowledge graph from the input data. And for that, we use an LLM to extract key entities and the relationships between them. Then we store that graph in MongoDB Atlas. The second step is when a user asks a question. Again, the LLM pulls out the entities from that query, and then we find the related entities in the graph and use that context to enrich the prompt, resulting in a more accurate answer from the LLM. So let's jump into the example that you can find in our documentation. Here, we're going to implement GraphRag on Wikipedia pages referring to Sherlock Holmes. Once we've installed the necessary libraries, including our Langchain MongoDB package, and set up credentials for OpenAI and MongoDB Atlas, we can go to the next step. In this example, we start by using Langchain's document loader, and specifically the Wikipedia loader, to retrieve a few pages about Sherlock Holmes from Wikipedia. We then kick off the first step with the entity extraction and knowledge graph creation. Once that step is done, we can actually visualize the graph. So you can visualize the graph by displaying it in your notebook using a simple script that we provide in the tutorial. So let's take a look. As you can see, uh, there are two main entities that have been extracted, Sherlock Holmes and Sherlock Holmes A Game of Shadows, which is a movie. You can see all the related entities that, and relationships that have been extracted and the attributes as well. Once the graph is built, we can start asking questions. In this case, I asked who played Sherlock Holmes in A Game of Shadows, and it returned Robert Downey Jr. based on a knowledge graph. You can find this tutorial in our docs and get started with our Langchain integration for GraphRack today. Stay tuned for more.